Hi guys, here's my hybrid ancient artifact user build. Just a disclaimer, all of this depends on your playstyle, micro decision and skill rotations. And of course your opponent's skill set as well. I just came up with this build to have bit of fun in PvP, to be able to fight back against DPS classes whilst being bit tanky at the same time. Especially with the current Wrath Greasy meta, wherein they will just cast Flames of Pride and Spirit Summoning combo. There's nothing much you can do about it, but to kite around while waiting for the duration of Summoning Spirit to end. Once it's gone, and by miracle you are still alive, that's the time to fight back. But then again, it all depends on the situation. So it's either you set up the perfect skill combo to kill the opponent, or they kill you first. <laughs> I usually go with space compression followed by side split, then super long star wave followed by side split again, then repeat. Casting memory erasing, cosmic ring and your buffs can help proc the passive from emerald heart HP restore when using different job skills. For the stats, max out int and allocate your remaining stats to bit or luck whichever you prefer. More HP or crit damage. By the way, my stats here already have meal B and original will juice for additional pen and M pen. But if you are going to use this in GVG, use anti-fatal food with cast delay. Remember that when calculating pen and M pen, as well as ignore def and M def, are added together when your core level reaches level 4. For the equipment, feel free to adjust anything depending on what you need to counter your opponent or if you want to try this build in GVG. Curl down reduction gears so you can spam your skills. Or you can use this accessory for additional M pen if you can pump your total ignore def to at least 180%. I advise to use eggshell BU and GVG to avoid your items being broken every clash. Use GVG Rental Tail for more resist versus Jormen Petrify. Now rune placement, feel free to adjust the arcane runes depending on what you have or depending on what you will adjust in your gears and cards. By the way, here is my handbook depot to show I'm just F2P player. <laughs> just kidding. When facing auto attack classes, just use memory erasing to prevent them from auto attacking or use optical camouflage so they can't attack you. But know that it's different versus Jorman Ganda because they can steal your optic camouflage which makes them untargetable. Then again as I was saying from the start it all depends on the situation because in reality every classes have their own hard counter jobs or when your opponent strikes fast and hard or when facing high depot players.
That's all for this video guys. Feel free to ask if you have questions or suggestions. I would love to hear from you too.